I still remember the first time I heard about it. July 1, 2025. Astronomers from the Atlas survey announced something unusual, an object entering our solar system from deep space. At first I was shocked, not because it was just another comet, but because of how it behaved. A hyperbolic orbit. It didn't belong here. It came from somewhere else. They called it 3I Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever recorded. Not bound by the sun. Just passing through, or maybe not. I kept asking myself, what is this thing? Ice and dust, sure. That's what they say. But something about it felt different. The way it moved, the way it glowed, almost like it was awake. Stay with me, because what we learned next changed everything we thought we knew about what drifts between the stars. They said it was made of ice, dust, and rock. Just another frozen traveler from the edge of space. But when scientists began to study 3I Atlas, the readings didn't make sense. Its surface was fused with something metallic, almost engineered. Spectral scans showed faint green and violet emissions. That shouldn't happen. Comets don't glow like that, unless something inside them is reacting. Some instruments even detected a pulse, a wave of energy running through its core as if it was breathing. Every layer revealed another mystery. Ice hiding metal, metal hiding light, and the light hiding something we can't explain. Stay with me because what they found next made even the experts stop believing it was natural at all. At first, it looked like random signals, distorted pulses, interference from solar wind, or so they said. But when the data was cleaned, patterns started to appear. Not natural, not random, almost mathematical. Three repeating sequences, each separated by a single pause like a heartbeat. Some said it was just noise. Others believed it was communication. And then, for the first time, the pulse synchronized with Earth's magnetic field. Just once, but it was enough to make everyone fall silent. Stay with me, because what they discovered next changed everything we thought we knew about comets. After the signal, theories exploded. Some said it was a natural resonance, an echo of cosmic magnetism. Others believed it was intentional, a call or a response. One hypothesis spread fast, that the Three-I Atlas isn't a comet at all, but an ancient vessel, a remnant of something older than our solar system. It's hollow, it breathes, and its pulse matches the rhythm of human brainwaves. Keep listening, because in the next discovery, we finally hear what it's trying to say. Now I have to ask you, what if it's been speaking all along, but we just never understood the language? Every time it pulsed, every flicker, every echo, it was trying to say something, not to the sky, to us. Some believe the Three-Eye Atlas carries a message, a warning, or an invitation. Maybe it's waiting for someone to answer. Maybe that someone is already listening right now. So tell me. Who's with me? Who believes this story for what it is? And who still doubts? Whatever you believe, the light is still out there, drifting through the dark, waiting. Thank you for watching. If what you saw tonight made you wonder, then you've already heard the signal. This is Tenebris Contactum, where the unknown still speaks, and we listen.